Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Pericardial effusion and you're looking at its signs. So what are the signs uh, included? So there is something known as the Onbrugger sign. So this is the Onbrugger's Onbrugger's sign. So this Onbrugger's sign, uh, the description is bulging of the epigastrium in severe pericardial effusion. So there will be bulge. So there's bulge and this is in the epigastrium. Bulge in epigastrium. So the bulge in epigastrium is present in severe in severe pericardial effusion. Pericardial effusion. Effusion. Next is the uh, on burger sign is bulging of the epigastrium in severe pericardial effusion. Then is the mosk covid sign. So mosk covid sign. Mosk covid sign. So this mosh covid sign is uh, in pericardial effusion. This mosh covid sign, it is seen in terms of the pericardial effusion. It is seen in pericardial effusion and the transition of the per percussion from the lungs to the right heart border is abrupt. So there is the transition on the percussion. So there is a transition. So this transition is seen on percussion. So transition is seen on percussion and this is of the low and yeah, transition on percussion from the lungs from lungs to that of the right heart border so right heart border so this will be abrupt this will be abrupt next we move on to the dressler syndrome so here in dressler syndrome what happens is So in restless syndrome, there is dullness on progression on the left half of the sternum. So this dullness. Dullness is seen on the percussion. Dullness is seen on percussion. And it is seen on the lower half of the sternum. It is seen on the lower half. Lower half of the sternum. And it's also seen in pericardial effusion. So this is also seen in pericardial effusion. Next is Evert sign. So in terms of Evert sign, what is seen? So in terms of Evert sign, it is in large pericardial effusion. So this is seen in terms of large. So there is large pericardial. So in terms of large pericardial effusion, the compression of the base of the left. So there's compression of the base. So there is compression. So compression is seen of what? Of the base of the lung. So compression of the base of the left lung so there's compression of the base of the left lung by the pericardial fluid so it is by the pericardial fluid it produces dullness by the pericardial fluid so as pericardial fluid it produces the dullness so pericardial fluid it produces dullness so pericardial fluid produces dullness and uh, it leads to increased vocal furnitures so there is increased Vocal phrenictus, 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 and this is beneath the angle of the left scapula. So this is beneath the left scapula angle, left scapula angle. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.